What's up guys and pals, it's your boy Vino Valentino, and today you guys are getting a Tufa. That's right guys, you're getting two cocktails for the price of one. Thank me later guys, all right? Don't worry about it, I'm generous that way. Anyway, look guys, I'm gonna make you guys two maple old fashions, all right? Now, the original re uh, video, I was just gonna make one. I was gonna make a traditional kind of maple old fashioned, but then I was looking through my stash here and I came across this bottle that I forgot I had, I've been wanting to try it on YouTube, and it's called Maple Jack Liqueur. And my, my wife picked this up for me during, I think around the spring, so I haven't had a chance to use it on YouTube because it was a seasonally appropriate, as they like to say. Now, what that is, is it actually starts off as an apple brandy but then he adds some maple syrup to it and they turn it into this maple jack liqueur stuff is absolutely delicious what i want to do is try kind of like in an old-fashioned use that as the sweetener and we'll see how it comes out all right folks so let's look at what's in the sauce for our first version of maple jack old-fashioned i mean um, a maple old-fashioned and what we're going to do is we're going to do two ounces of bourbon i'm going to be using some uh new york bourbon and that liqueur is also from new york so they i think they're from the same they might be from the same distillery i'm not sure Anyway, so we're gonna do two ounces of bourbon. I'm using New York because it's fall and fall in New York is probably the most beautiful thing you'll ever see. All right, and right. So then we're gonna do a bar spoon of maple syrup, All right? Okay, beautiful. And then we're gonna do two to three dashes of some black walnut bitters. If you don't have this, you can use some orange bitters. That's all good. Angostura, whatever you like, but I like this. I think it goes really well with kind of like the four cocktails, all right? Let me get this out of here. All right, one, two, three, all right, four for good luck. And then we're just gonna add some ice to our uh, mixing glass. All right. And let's, ooh, man, loud, huh? And then let's stir it up, right? While we're stirring that up, I'm going to go ahead and add an ice cube to my glass. And you're gonna to wanna to stir this for about, about 20, 30 seconds. You know, you'll get a feel for it. Just make sure that the ice starts to collapse and give it a taste, see if it's nice and cool, all right? All right, I think we stirred that bad boy up enough. So let's go ahead and pour it into our glass. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty color, my gosh. My gosh. All right, so there's that. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel an orange. And got ourselves an orange peel. I'm gonna do a little zest. All right. Cool, I was able to get something off of this orange because I didn't have much left. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a nice little orange zest. Then we'll just wipe the glass with the uh, peel. And then we're just gonna dump that in there, right guys? So, while the ice is still cold, I'm gonna use this ice again because guess what? It's all the same ingredients with the exception of this. So let's go ahead and do our second version of the maple old fashioned. I'm gonna go and do an ounce and a half this time of my bourbon. All right. Then I'm gonna do a half an ounce of this maple jack liqueur. All right, there's that. All right, and then I'm gonna do again uh, three, four dashes of uh, maple walnut, of uh, black walnut bitters. One, two, three, four, all right. And then I'm gonna stir that bad boy up real nice-like. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna put another ice cube in my, oh wait, this ice cube stuck in there. <laughs> in my glass, there you go, beautiful. All right. Again, 20 to 30 seconds. Make sure you get some good dilution to chill all that spirit up for you. All right guys, so I think we got enough dilution on here. So let's put this down and go ahead and pour it into our glass. All right, beautiful. And then let's just top that off. We have a dehydrated apple uh, slice here, right guys? So there we have it folks, two different maple old fashions. Um, one is uh, a more traditional style with some maple syrup. And then this one here is with a maple jack liqueur. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and give these bad boys a sippy sip. First, let's start with the traditional, or more traditional style of fashion, which uh, is the, uh, again, this is the bourbon maple syrup and the uh, orange peel, right? And some wal walnut bitters. Cheers. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. If you guys don't know by now, the old fashioned is my favorite cocktail, and this is absolutely delicious. Oh. Right on the front end, you're getting your bourbon, right? So first thing that's gonna hit you, obviously, is the alcohol. 
But then in the back, you get the delicious maple syrup just lingering on your tongue. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. This is fantastic, guys. Love it, love it. You get, you definitely get the walnut bitters too, which to me, the walnut bitters has some sort of like, it already has like some maple flavors going on, some kind of maple notes. So it's like really, ascent, it really kind of brings out the maple flavor. Accentuates it, right? Now let's go ahead and try this one here, which is uh, bourbon, but also has some, a, an, a maple jack liqueur, which again, guys, is a apple brandy, which has been uh, fused with some maple syrup. So it turned into the liqueur, so let's see. Mm, right in the nose, I'm getting apple, but that's probably because of the uh, uh, apple garnish there. So just give it a sip. Oh, wow. That is, woof. That is special, guys. That's great because it's a little more boozy because it's, it's you know, there's a little liqueur still has alcohol in it. Even though it has less bourbon, it still has some alcohol. So you're getting a lot more of an alcohol uh, punch, but you're getting, I think you've, I feel like you're getting even more, like I'm getting some apple and I'm, 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 I'm let me see, I, I wanna see if it's this or not. Let me take that out. Oh, I'm getting apple on the nose. I'm getting some really good maple notes. Oh man, this is delicious. This is delicious. Let me go ahead and try this one more time. Cause I wanna give you guys which one I think it tastes better. They're both really good, by the way. Ah, I couldn't tell you. They're both really good. They're both delicious, matter of fact. This one is definitely a little boozier. I think this is more for the, 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 the boozy, boozy booze guys out there. Like my buddy, um, Tim, uh, Tim Kirkland and Stefan Foisy and Trev, all you guys that love your boozy cocktails, this is the one for you. This one here, the maple does, even though it has again, more bourbon than that one, actually I think the maple does kind of help settle it down a little bit. So if it's, I, I, I think this one might be a little more of a crowd pleaser, a little more friendlier to the palate as they say. I mean, but either way, it can't go wrong. I love both of these, and I'm gonna drink both of them tonight while I edit this video, so it's gonna be a long night, my friends. A long, fun one. <laughs> anyway, guys, there we go. We have two delicious maple old fashions. Both of them are fantastic. You know, if you could find this stuff, you know, if you're, uh, if you're in the New York area and you could go up to the, this distillery here, Finger Lakes Distilling, I pick up a bottle, maybe you can find it online, I don't know. But it's absolutely delicious. But otherwise, guys, stick to the more traditional version, which honestly I think is probably a little more uh, on the uh, palatable side, because this one has a bit more of a stiffer element. But either way, they're both delicious. Remember to share this video, press like, subscribe, do all those good things. Let's get Vino to a thousand. And um, that's all I got for you folks, all right? So remember, when life gives you lemons, you make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.